Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, we're going to talk to Michael Jackson in the afterlife. Sounds all good. It's been a long time. It's been at least a year, probably two years, probably three years since we've actually talked with Michael Jackson. Okay, so I hope my audio is good here. Let's see. I have this great microphone I'm working with. So you may have seen this on my Sunday morning coffee podcast. Actually, you know what? Let me just turn on a light, I think. Might need a light here. Let's just see. Better? I'm so bad at the lighting thing. Whatever, you guys. It's a YouTube channel, okay? I'll do the best I can. All right. So we're going to start off with some inspiration from Michael Jackson. I want you to write in the comments below what songs you love of Michael Jackson. Now, I'm old school. I'm old school. I'm going to listen to, um, I, I listen to Human Nature already. Human nature. Yeah. Mm, that's old school. Yeah. And now I'm listening to, do you remember the um, movie Free Willy? Oh, I love this song. So I'm going to listen to this on my AirPods because I can't listen to it with you. I did a channeling for someone with um, Michael Jackson, a private channeling. So you are my friend. Okay, now I hear him, here it comes. And he's totally, you guys, I can see him like doing that thing he does, you know? <laughs> okay, all right, y'all get up, all right, here we go. me and they told me I'm meant to be faithful and walk when not able and fight to the end but I'm only human oh some of you are going to be so annoyed by this introduction <laughs> it's okay I'm getting inspired, you guys. That's good. That's so fun. I have no idea how that's going to look on camera, but whatever. Michael is here in present. Hey, nice to see you. I know it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. There's reason for that. Mm -hmm. It's been hard. Yeah, it's hard to chat. It's hard to have these conversations with you. Um, but I'm willing to do that tonight. I think it's a good idea, especially for people who really love your work and enjoy your music. Like I do enjoy your music very much and your moves are very um, incredible. <laughs> They're very incredible, it's funny. it's funny. It has been a long time since we spoke, yes. Can you give us an update on to, as to where you're at in your healing process and your healing journey? Last we spoke, you were working on quite a few things, so. He shows me his daughter, the image of his daughter. Mm -hmm. Paris, yeah, I know. I do have a daughter. I know, I know. It's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. You want to make the world a better place for your children, he says. That's grossly underestimated and widely misunderstood, is what he's sharing. You're kind of philosophical a little bit, Michael. You feel a little different right now. I think that's a good thing, you guys. Mm hmm That's a good thing. So let's talk about mistakes and change. Can we do that? We are recording this video in December of 2021. And so we're at the ending of a year and the beginning of the year. It's natural, I think, for people to think about change and look back on the year or their lifetime, perhaps, and consider maybe mistakes that they've made and kind of be hard on ourselves, I think. I know that I do that. I, I reflect and I have lots of clients that I work with that feel like that. And when things come up, you know, I really would encourage people to be really forgiving with themselves, but it'd be great to hear from you how you think about, feel about mistakes, that, that topic. Let's talk about that. 
right away he says uh, judgment. There's a lot of judgment. He feels so much more mellow, you guys. Like almost like he's on meds or something, you know, like in the afterlife. Like he just feels really chill and mellow. There's not a lot of um, trying to present a certain persona to me. It's just very mellow, very mellow. I appreciate that. Very, very mellow. Yeah, very calm. He says there's a lot of judgment. I think the, the primary message right now is uh, about the judgment piece. Yes. He says, yes, yes. Um, he says, I think it's really, he says, I think it has to do with confidence. Being confident. You just, you have to not care what other people think. And I know it's so cliche to say that, but it's, he says, he's so quiet, you guys, when he talks, he literally talks like this, like almost whispery. It's really hard to not sound like that because it's natural for me to just mimic how I <laughs> I hear, you know, it just is. He says, it's really natural to be hard on yourself. I think it comes from wanting to be really good, really good. He says, you, you just really can't care. And that sounds horrible. He says, it sounds like you're an awful person, but really what you're doing is you're choosing yourself and loving yourself. Oh my gosh. Are you really going to talk about self-love, Mr. Michael Jackson? <laughs> that it would be a good topic and he says you have to care so much about yourself that you will do what it takes to keep yourself safe and healthy and just feeling really good and taking care of yourself that's so so important so important and then I, so I'm asking in my mind so I'm like okay mistakes so you've made some mistakes I mean you're death being one of them right Yes, he says, yeah, 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 that's pretty public. He says, yeah, that's pretty public. So are there things you would have changed? I mean, obviously I can assume maybe, but can you talk about that a little bit and like mistakes and things you may have changed? But he says, well, yes, I wouldn't have pushed myself so hard, quite so hard, he says. I did push, I pushed really hard. He says, but I want to be really clear. I want people to understand that it wasn't, it wasn't other people pushing me to do things that I didn't want to do. It was me. It was me competing against myself is what Michael's saying. Me competing against myself is what caused my death. It was me competing against myself. And he says, I used lots of anything at my disposal to be able to help me perform above anything. I took performing and entertaining when I, he says, I got, I got too obsessed, too obsessed with it. I wanted to be the best and the greatest and it had been years and I had been through a lot with my body and I was so much older. It's really a lot to ask of your body. He says, it was taxing. These are not excuses. I know it sounds like a list of excuses, excuses, excuses. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that. The mistakes that were made were my own. I trusted people I shouldn't have trusted. Oh, that's a little blamey, blamey. That's a little blamey, blamey. Do you guys hear that? That's a little bit blamey. I call that's a little bit blamey. He says, it's not just one person's responsibility or fault. It's all. It's the collective all, he said. So everyone does have a part to play and ownership of that. He says, of the outcome. Yeah, they do. Yeah, everyone does. Yes, 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 he says, yes. But he's also saying, I didn't make it easy. It was, but it was very easy for me to get all of the medications and the, he's saying the drugs that I needed is what he's, he's literally using the term drugs. I'm just going to say that he's using the terms drugs. I don't mean to be disrespectful and he's not being disrespectful. He's just using the term drugs, which maybe, you know, prescription drugs, that kind of thing. I don't know. Um, do you feel as though Dr. Murray was at fault for your death or liable? He says, yes. There's definitely liability. There's definitely responsibility. Yes, he says, yes, yes. There's definitely, there's responsibility there. Yes, that needs to, that needs to, to be, be held. Yes, yes, accountability. Yes, accountability. Yes, yes. He says, yes, yes. It was too much. It was too much, he says. Could I have been saved? Yes. He says, yes. Yes, I could have been. Are you feeling angry about that? He says, you know, in the afterlife, he's like saying, you know, a spirit doesn't get angry, like in the traditional sense, he says, but yes, you know that there's unresolved consequences for that, for my children, mostly, he says, for my children. Yeah, for my children, he says, yes, yes. 
Wow. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Just got up. Hmm. How about that. Um. <clears throat> I literally see, I'm looking at his kids. Blanket, prints. Okay, that's okay. Um, it's just like there's a long pause right now. Is there anything specific that you'd like to share? He's talking about believing in yourself. He's like feeling a little life coachish, life coachy, like motivational speaker, like believe. He says, you just need to believe in your talents and your skills more than anyone else. That's what you need to do. If you want to be successful, if you want to be successful and happy, he says happy. And he's, sh he's sharing that he was at his happiest when he was performing. He's saying his family made him happy, yes, but he also really needed to perform really need it to be in front of an audience. Really, really needed that. He's saying he really needed that, deeply needed that. So in reflecting on your life from a place of afterlife, is there anything that you would want us to know about you that maybe we don't know or that the general public we're just not aware of he says i really liked animals that's one thing he's showing that he really liked animals and he was caring and kind to animals he wants to know that i don't know why that's coming is it because of the chimp the monkey and stuff like maybe i don't know but he's saying i really genuinely cared about animals he wants people to know that that he wasn't it wasn't about animal. he was not cruel to animals he genuinely cared about animals. He wants to say that. Okay, okay, that's a lot. Okay. He literally just says, I would never hurt another living being. Saying that. Never intentionally is what he just said. Mm -hmm. Never intentionally hurt it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not get in too much into some other stuff because I really do feel. Um, Let's keep our uh, focus on, how about we talk about self-love? Let's talk about that a little bit. Do you have some advice or guidance about self-love and empath, empathy? He says, I know it's hard to believe. Some people think I was a narcissist. He says, he uses the term. I did not use that term. I did not use that term. I did not. They're gonna string me up, Michael. You don't understand. Your fans are intense, just like Prince fans, intense which isn't a bad thing, just like they like to shoot the messenger. So I'm gonna get a lot of comments, which is fine. You guys, whatever, that's fine. Say what you need to say, it's okay. Say what you need to say, okay. Um, say, say, say what you want. Okay, Paul McCartney <laughs> and Michael Jackson. Say, 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 say. Talk about being an empath and he's saying, I feel, he says, I know that people think I'm like this narcissist or what have you. He says, but I feel, I feel a lot. He says, I feel a lot. I feel a lot, 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 a lot. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Can you give us some advice about feeling and managing feelings and our emotions? He says, it can, your feelings, your emotions, he says, your emotions, can make you do crazy things. So much misunderstanding about emotion. So many things to misunderstand, he says, about emotion. He says, I screwed so many things up, so much up. He says, I screwed so much up about emotion. Not good with emotion. He's saying, I'm just, I am no master at all. And he says, I would say it's just hard. It's really hard emotion is hard are you so i'm thinking about relationships and things like you know with your wife and then well like lisa marie and then i think debbie is her name right was it debbie um <clears throat> and he's just saying oh sorry 
he's saying uh, when it comes to other people, emotions are very complicated, like complex. Like he says, you can't figure out other people's emotions. He says, you have to just go by what they tell you. And if they don't tell you, you have to ask. And when you ask, you have to be willing to listen to the answer. And when the problem is when there's misunderstanding because you don't ask and you don't listen. He says, you have to do both. You have to ask and listen. But he's also saying, but there's a third factor. They have to be willing to share. And he says, if you can only rely on what they say, that's hard. Because he says, for, from his experience, they don't say everything. They don't really share. They ex kind of other people, he said, they expect you to just kind of understand like without like intuitively almost, right? Is that what you're thinking? He says like kind of just to know what they need and what they're saying when they're not saying it, what they're not saying. It's, he says, it's not so much about what they say, it's what they don't say. He says, it's like this whole complicated, like figuring out peace, he says. And so marriage is really hard, he's saying. Marriage is really hard, but it's more successful, I think, he says, if, you're, if it's based on a good friendship. There has to be a solid friendship, he says. That helps. That makes a big difference, you know. He says, but I'm not one to give marriage advice. But relationship-wise, I can say that, that. That's a thing. Hmm. You're not boring. I'm tired. <laughs> but I wanted to, to talk with Michael Jackson. All right. Is there anything else in specifically about, like, maybe the psychic energy of empath, being an empath? Because you and I, we've never totally talked about this. He says, when it comes to matters of the heart, affairs of the heart, it is just, he says, it's, he says, it's beyond me. I'm going to admit that I don't have any, I really don't have good, a good foundation about this. I don't have a good understanding. I know that there's a lot of pieces and that there's a lot that can be messed up. That's what he's saying. A lot can be messed up about it. I think that's fair. He feels like a teenager, you guys. He feels like a teenager, like a 15 year old trying to talk to me about relationships, not love or sex, but relationships, you know? Okay, that's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. So mistakes and then empath, empath love, relationship. Oh, huh. hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I do not, he's not boring. I'm just tired. <laughs> he says, that's exactly how I felt. You understand, Bridget, you understand. You want to show up, you want to do your job, you want to do your purpose, you want to live on purpose, you want to do and give people what they want. And yet it's hard when you don't have a lot left, like you're tired, right? He says, it's hard. So now you understand, like with it, with the tour and the, he says, now you can understand. And he says, I want forgiveness. You guys, he wants forgiveness for his death and the way he died. Because he was just trying to be the same Michael that everyone expected him to be. And he's saying, I just want forgiveness for that. Oh, Michael, that's, that's sad, you guys, that's sad. I mean, I get that there's a whole lot of other stuff around your life, but that's just sad, you know? But you do feel like you have way more perspective than you had before when I've talked to you. And that is good. That is a good thing. If you haven't, watch the playlist here on Above Life Channel for Michael Jackson, and you'll see what I mean. There's other videos and audios that I did a long, 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 long time ago with Michael Jackson. And so and he felt very different than he feels now. So that's, I think that's positive, you guys. I think that's positive, right? Yeah. Hey, thanks for being here, Michael. We appreciate it. And thank you for being here. I see a lot of yellow, which is solar plexus or your spirit your life on purpose, your intuition. So I hope that if you are an MJ fan, or if you're not, and you're just here at Above Life Channel for the first time, I'm Bridget. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm the host here. We publish our videos here on Mondays to inspire your spirit and fill you with hope with afterlife celebrity guests. We have interesting conversations then, and a lot of times they'll give you advice or perspective on living a human life. And that's what the point is here. That is what the point is. So it's your life after all. This is your life, so live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.